Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank you. So, we'll start our today's session. And uh, today is our fifth day. Did you get yes. this fourth day video recorded session? Yes. Okay, okay. So, now this is our fifth day. So, okay. So, first of all, I simply share my screen. Okay. okay, can you see my skin now? Yes, it is here. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Wait a minute, so I open my slide, then we'll start. Okay, so now you can see my skin, yeah? Can you see yes. my skin? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. It is uh, fourth day or fifth day? Today is fifth day. Fifth day? Yeah. And you can check uh, your WhatsApp messenger. I send you the for the practice code. You can see. But for the recorded video, you send. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So I also remember that I I did not send you this video cl recorded class. Okay, so I mm -hmm. ask you. Okay, no problem. Today I also send the both of the two video classes. So you can knock me when you can no. did not find anything recorded video classes. No, I, I actually I, yeah. I am actually practice uh, before uh, first, second, third classes. Okay, okay. So I also send you the fourth day training session class today, and also send you the fifth day training session recorded class. Then you can easily access. Okay. 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 So hi and welcome to the seven days online training session on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing analysis from beginners to advanced. So we already covered the fourth classes. So today is our fifth mm. number of class, and I am course coordinator. And this is our full course content. We cover all of this topic within seven days. And today is our fifth day. And fifth day course content will be that. So mainly today I will focus on air quality monitoring. So how we can easily make the different types of air quality parameters map uh, we also try to show you that how you can easily make the time series analysis of this air quality monitoring different uh, parameters data how you can make the time series chart how you can easily convert the unit different types of unit okay so, and how to make the time series chart of air quality parameter and how we can easily export this map and make the map layout or other things using the arc map software okay so today okay. we'll start so first of all you can see here you can see this is the two map of first map is the methane concentration of map of Kuwait and another map you also you can see this is the nitrogen dioxide concentration map year of 2020 January month of January okay so mm -hmm. mainly we can we also today we also try to discuss about that how you can easily make the map like this and uh, how you can easily get the tip images also you can see this is the unit showing the parts per billion also you can see this is another unit mole per meter square so we also try to discuss about the conversation how you can easily make the uh, use the different types of unit and convert this unit from one unit to another unit and uh, then finally we download these tip images and make that uh, make this map you can easily make the map using the arc map software for your research paper uh, mm -hmm. work as well as also presentation work and also you can see this is the mm -hmm. another map for nitro nitrogen dioxide level rebound so this is the nitrogen dioxide so here we can observe all of the things you can see different time period before lockdown, pre-lockdown, post-lockdown, 
in Bangladesh and then we can observe the nitrogen dioxide levels rebound in Bangladesh so mainly we can do all of the things in Google Earth Engine platform then just download these deep images and make the map in ArcMap software mm -hmm. so first of all when you want to make the air quality monitoring using the Sentinel-5 we need to uh, know about this data set mainly this da Sentinel-5 this sensor or this satellite image we mainly uh, take the air quality and composition climate interaction with the main data products we can easily get here the ozone nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide formaldehyde aerosol carbon monoxide methane okay so we can easily access all of the data set from here and here you can see this is the data set link so i can simply go to this data set link and then simply just open in my browser so this is the this is the link for earth engine public data catalog or yes, if yes. you want you can simply go to this earth engine public data catalog and you can okay. easily access the sentinel 5 data set okay so i simply open this that link in here Okay, so you can see this is a Sentinel-5 data sheet link. So I just open and here we can get all of the things. Here you can see this is the aerosol index. Also you can see this is the cloud. Also you can see this is the carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, uh, sulfur dioxide, methane. Okay, we can easily access all of the dat uh, data from here and work with this data for time series analysis or make the map concentration map or other things and calculate the how many gas will be emitted in a particular region we can calculate all of the things in Google Earth Engine platform so let's go so first of all here you can see I want to show you that how you can easily import uh, then how you can filter this data and you can show this data on your own region okay so for this uh, first of all I simply open my code editor I just open this code editor and in this code editor I first of all I want to work with the data set for suppose sulfur dioxide okay so I simply open the sulfur dioxide data set here I simply click to here now you can get all of the information about the sulfur dioxide here you can see you can get this data set availability date between this time and also you can see this is the data set provider and earth engine snippet I just simply copy this earth engine snippet from here and then simply paste here and after this I simply take a variable name in here uh, suppose I take the variable name is just suppose uh, data set I can simply put the data set okay now you can see this is my full collection of the sulfur dioxide it is stored in a variable a data set and I also want to put here the another uh, my uh, I simply import my uh, shape file so in this time I want to work with the shape file of Bangladesh so I simply import this Bangladesh shape file and give the name this is my ROI or region of interest okay so now I simply import my shape file as well as also import my data data set so in this time I want to filter this data set according to my time period or according to my uh, area or and select my specific band so I simply take a variable and give the variable name is that image you can use any name I can simply use the image and then I simply call my full collection data set simply call this full collection because this variable is stored my full collection of the uh, sulfur dioxide okay then I simply use here the filter bounds function so filter bounds with my region of interest so in this time my region of interest are y okay and then uh, suppose I want to observe the data uh, in a specific time period I simply use here the filter date function and then I simply put here my start date and in date part so I simply put here start date uh, 2022 first January okay and also put here the another date suppose I want to observe the uh, one one month data so I simply 2022 then put here the 
फार्स्ट जानुरि थार्टी वन ओके सो आई कैन गेट द डेटा फर द इयर अफ टू थाउजेंड टोटी फार्ष्ट जानुरि सो आई सीम्पलि एकोडिंग टू टाइम आई फिल फिल्टार दिस डेट एंड आई अल्सो नीड टू सिलेक्ट माइ स्पेसिफिक बैंड हेयर यू कैन सी अल अफ द बैंड यू कैन सी बैंड सालफार डाइक्साइड कलम नम्बर डेंसिटी ओके सो दिस इज दू कैन सी दिस सालफार डाइक्साइड भार्टिकल कलम डेंसिटी एट ग्राउंड लेवल उइ कैन गेट द ग्राउंड लेवल भार्टिकल कलम डेंसिटी of sulfur dioxide from this band okay so i simply copy this band okay. name and then i simply paste here this band okay. name in here okay so now i want to check how many images will be available uh, between this uh, one month of for my region i want to check it okay. i simply copy the image and then simply use here the size function and then simply okay. click to the run so now you can see it will a uh, 416 416 image is mm. available for my region between this time period and this image yeah. is taken different period of time here you can see when i want to get all of the time date you can see the first image is captured the year of 2020 first january and second image the same uh this is second january then you can see third january uh some image uh, then also you can see another image for the fourth january also image you can see fifth january okay so you can get all of the images uh according to the different time of the year of the month different date of this month okay in this time from this 416 images i want to calculate it the average pixel value so that i can get the average result of the sulfur dioxide in my area so i simply use at the mean okay mm -hmm. it calculated the average result and it's also clip with my shape file so i simply use the clip and my shape file is the roi yeah. okay so now i want to show okay. this map i simply use at the map dot add layer yeah, yeah. and then i simply can you guess it what is our object here our object is image okay so i simply copy the image and paste here and after this we also add here the visualization parameter later so i simply remove and then click to run a uh, one layer will be added here but i did not show my region so that's why i also need to use here the map dot center object and then i simply call my roi this is my shape file variable name and zoom level tail then i simply click to the run so now you can see this is our area and now it calculated the uh, showing the result of uh, sulfur dioxide for uh, between the year of 2020 first january this month we can get the data okay in this time you can see we can get the totally black map because i did not add any visualization yeah. parameter in here so in this time uh, i uh, i can simply copy the visualization parameter from here simply copy and then paste here yeah yeah in here you can see they are make a dictionary and they are showing the mean mean sulfur dioxide it showing the 0 mole per meter and max up to 0.0005 mole per meter okay so in this time okay. i simply copy this visualization variable name and then i simply add here okay then click to the run okay. so now you can see it will be showing the map of okay. sulfur dioxide and uh, we already covered the um, okay. gradient listen we covered this part how we can add the gradient listen yeah yeah okay so you can see uh, easily add here the gradient listen like this so then you can easily understand about that how we can easily add the listen then you can easily understand according to this listen you can easily showing the uh, this region is the high concentration of sulfur dioxide this region is the low sulfur dioxide region okay so in this time here you can see this is the map of sulfur dioxide concentration year of 2020 first january if you want you can simply export this map as a tip format and make the map yeah. layout or other things like this like this map you can easily make this map layout and other things uh, uh, legend all of the things you can use okay. here the arc map software okay so here you can see this is the result for the sulfur dioxide okay so in this time if you want to export this map you need to use the same function this function is the export export then image to drive 
then put all of the argument one by one then it will be okay okay so you can put all of this argument and then you can easily export this map as a tip format and uh, and then you can simply uh, download this tip image and work with the arc map software okay and according to the same process you can make the any uh, air quality parameter density map it can be sulfur dioxide it can be nitrogen dioxide methane formaldehyde you can easily do uh, any map we can just same the same procedure you can follow and make the map all of the things easily okay so in this time i try to show you that how you can easily import this data set then how you can easily filter this data set and how you can easily showing the result on your map and then you can easily export this map and make the map layout or other things easily from this uh arc map software okay so i hope you can easily okay. understand this part so i go to okay. my next slide So in this time, I will try to cover this part for how we can easily import the data set. We covered this part, then how to filter yeah. this data, then mm -hmm. how to reduce this image collection. Mainly, we can use the reduce function for reduce our image collection. In this time, I here I can get the total 416 images. I reduce this yeah. image collection using the mean function. Mean function yeah. Then I clip, uh, clip on your shape file, then display the result on the map. Okay. In this time, I want to show you that how you can easily make the time series chart of any uh, particular region what is the condition of the any particular gases okay so then I will also try to discuss about that how you can easily make the time series chart of the any gases okay so for okay. this I simply go to my slide code editor Okay, so I simply uh, open this data set. In this time, I want to work with the nitrogen dioxide and I want to make the nitrogen dioxide time series chart. So I simply go to the nitrogen dioxide and okay. here you can get all of the nitrogen dioxide information about the data set availability date, uh, data set provider, uh, earth engine snippet, all of the things you can easily access from here. So in this time, I simply just copy this snippet from here earth in snippet simply copy and then in i simply paste in my code editor okay and then i simply put a variable name so wait a minute so i simply copy and then simply paste in here and then I simply put the variable name is that suppose this is the NO2 nitrogen dioxide okay so it is stored in a variable NO2 in this time I want to create this time series chart for uh, for the specific region suppose Dhaka district so I simply um, import my shape file so I simply import my shape file and give the shape file name is that RY and in this time you can see i import my data set and also imported my region so now i want to just